Hello, this is the American Contractor. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do it this time. I just want to let everybody know in the American Contractor uh, audience that have been reading a book called uh, Baghdad Stories. It's by a woman by the name of Nadia El Sultani. She was uh, born in Baghdad, and she lives in New York, and she did a great job on this book. Normally, I would write about or talk about you know politics, economics, banking in Iraq, and all this different subjects, but what about the stories about just normal Iraqis, how they live their lives? What do they do? What do they think about? What do they think about the rest of the world? What do they think about them, about their country, you know, their government, stuff like that? This is a great story. Uh, it's by Nadia Al Sultani. I just want to, and what I'm showing right here on the screen is the the uh, Kindle for Mac. And just want to show you that I did buy the book. I am reading it. Just show you right there. I won't go into the book and uh, talk about it because I just want you to experience it for yourself and just start reading. She's a great writer. Um, I was just blown away about how, how well it's written. And she has an economics background, and you wouldn't think that she'd be a good writer, but I was shocked and surprised that it's a very good read. And let's let's go to her website which is NadiaElSultani.com. And I'll have the link uh, below the video. But you can go to different here, different uh, tabs, and just look at her book. Um, and look at the uh, website. I'll just read this really quick. A memoir in the form of a series of journeys beginning in 2001 and ending in 2014, in which the author discovers and rediscovers, rediscovers herself and her birthplace at dramatic intervals for both. Beginning in the wake of 9-11, Nadia flies home with her mother to find life difficult under Saddam's Iraq dictatorship and U.S. sanctions. Her fate seems to follow like a river for charged destiny of her native land. And then her next journey into Iraq was 2002. She would stay in a second home her mother has been preparing for over 20 years. So she goes over there multiple times, I think three times. And she kept notes. She, kept, uh, she was interested in writing a book. But this is a, it's a very good read, like I said, and it is on Amazon, and you can um, purchase it there, read it. Like I said, I'm reading it right now. I don't want to scroll down because I don't want to do any kind of copyright issues or you know make her upset. But uh, um, this is the Baghdad Stories by an Iraqi American memoir, Nadia Al Sultani, and that is her website. Is her name Nadia Al Sultani dot com. And I'll have all these links below where you can purchase the book from Amazon, a great place to buy anything on the web. And she has videos. Let's look at video. Videos right there. She has a on a YouTube channel right there. Let me press this. So just great. It's just a great video. It talks about, you know, her experiences in Iraq. So buy this book. I appreciate it. All my, you know, leave your comments below the video and uh, tell me what you're thinking. This is the American Contractor. Hope everybody's having a safe and uh, joyous and great Labor Day weekend. This is the American Contractor, and thank you for watching.